right, so Casey and I are heading out. And it's nice out. There's a breeze. This weather can stick around. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't like it when it gets too hot. I know it's too hot Friday. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are um, going to go to John R. Park Homestead. They're having an open house, and it's um, my favorite four little word free. So we're going to check it out. We've been there before, they've had events there before okay ready yeah three two one i gotta close the door this door i know i just did i just closed the door but i need to close the house door all right all doors are closed and we are on our way so yeah it's just casey and i um john our home wait no John R. Park Homestead and Tongue Twister. Um, they're having like, yeah, it's, it's a 50th anniversary of being a conservation. So um, that's why it's free, it's open house. Um, we've been there before. We've had our family pictures taken there once upon a time ago. And they've had events. We've been to um, the, a fall event where they had horses. That was really fun. And this was all before the pandemic, of course. And they had an event for Christmas. That was really fun. I think I vlogged both of those. So I'll see if I can find them. And I will leave them um, the, in the description box below if you want to check that out. And yeah, I think this is our first time back. We've also had picnics there. Um, and so yeah, it was the first time back um, since the pandemic. So yeah, I, I think they just started with the events maybe last year. Um, so yeah, so it's nice to have the, these things back again. All right, let's go. All right, we have arrived. And we have a little bit of walking to do because they only have like a small parking lot and it's full. And we parked on the side of the road. It's not too, too far of a walk. Yeah, but um, we, we, we'd have to cross the road. Yeah, we'd have to cross the road. We'll look both ways. <laughs> there's cars parked right here. Right there. But I... I this road is not busy. No, this road's not busy. I started to pull it in and I backed out because I'm like, nope, no, I'm not getting stuck in there. So it's easier to park on the side of the road and not get stuck. So I think everybody had the same idea because it's a beautiful day out. And it's only till five and it's two o'clock right now. But oh, that breeze is beautiful. <laughs> they need to cut the grass. Oh, is it in the grass? Is it grass at all? Very tall grass. Is it grass? Yeah, it's grass. Almost as tall as you. Back to the side. Alright, let's cross over here. There's more room. Right here. Look at the lily pads. <laughs> no, the, the parking lot does look full. Hello, friend. Little birdie. All right. Okay, I think we're. Oh, wait, wait. See? We're going to cross over here. In your hand. Okay. Go. What do you think? Do you think the parking lot's full? Really Although there is one spot yeah. right there, go figure. Look, look oh, nice car. Thunderbird. 
Yeah. Nice color too. Oh, uh, but it's not good for a full family. No. <laughs> yeah, only two seats. Yeah, only two seats. Where would you ride? In the trunk? <laughs> You're funny. Okay, so I guess I could have. Uh, yeah, there's a parking spot. Go figure. You know, go figure. Sheep. <laughs> Pretty dry stuff to be eating. Huh? <laughs> it is. But well, they're digging in. Looks like they just started speeches. Brian Moss is another former board member who has continued to lend his support. Okay, you want to sit down? You can take a look, they have their own garden. It's very cute. It's a beautiful day. What the, what's that? Yeah. That'd be perfect for a wedding. Maybe that's what that was for. Yeah. Well, I feel we both. So those two little benches right there are new. So this is what happens when you haven't been somewhere for a few years. You start to see new things in the area. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and test it out. But what a view of the lake. They're funny. Be a great spot for coffee. <laughs> oh wow, there's there's another one just down there. Listen to that. That's out of the way. Yeah, the waves crashing. Danger sign. Yeah, they have the danger signs because the rocks and yeah the lake. Well, we can go, go, go. have to have those. Did you know somebody would try? You know, yeah. climb the rocks. But this is definitely a great spot for coffee. Yeah, in the morning. <laughs> I have a ways to go though. Yeah, yeah. Cause I have because we haven't been here for a few years, so I forgot. You know, this is this was a little bit farther than I remembered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're still the doing bug, their speeches. The and little bug in danger. Oh, the bugs in danger. Them. Yeah. So um, I'm, sh I'm sure once they are done with their speeches because it's the 50th anniversary so of course they want to say a few words just keep it short <laughs> I'm sure that like we'll be able to go through the house and they'll probably have stuff going on you want to frolic in the garden I 
Oh, there I see some marigolds. Those are pretty. Yeah. Right here. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Oh, Black Eyed Susans. One of my favorites. I don't know if they're not. Yes, I have to see if, if ours are blooming or not. If they're not, they should be soon. And this building, I think, is new. I don't recognize it. Yep, I think you take it if it's on the ground. I guess somebody got to it. We need a plant Yeah. Nice little garden. There you go. <laughs> it's an outhouse. The bathroom. <laughs> That's what they used back in the day before indoor plumbing. <laughs> Why is there corn? I don't know. And you can weave a blanket. Is it a mini machine? Yeah, a weaving machine. What? Weaving? Yeah, weaving. Weaving? Yeah, weaving. Well, not for knitting. Yeah, you make blankets or your clothes back oh, in the day. Like yeah, weaving. But that was like all Yeah, weaving. But when you knit that, like, there's other wool for weaving? Yeah, weaving. Kind of like, yeah, like. What would you for knitting? Similar to knitting. <laughs> yeah, so that one. Maybe you use your hands. Yeah, knitting, you use your hands. Well, you use your hands for this, but this would be more work, weaving. Water pump? Yeah. Yeah. I guess, yeah, they could fill up a bucket and put the fire out. Very nice breeze over here. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a good way to keep the window open. <laughs> Is that the ant Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> I found another great spot to have coffee. Yeah, I just need some patio furniture. Yeah. Have coffee and uh, the breeze from the lake. That's a good way to start the morning. Yeah. Say, Bo Peep, I found your sheep. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to pet them. Are you allowed to we can't them? yeah, I'm pretty sure if you could you could like if you could reach to pet them if they're close enough, I don't see why not. We came back to look at the sheep. Like eating a he's eating. They're eating Andrew's way out. Does it taste good? They're like KC. Oh where do you gotta go? You gotta go. Lippy. Would you like some chocolate <laughs> eggs? <laughs> oh, like they're fresh. I, I guarantee they are fresh. <laughs> they look like beans. Anyways, what I was going to say is they're like Casey, always hungry. And they're eating. Oh, now she's taking a break. <laughs> are you taking a break now? Mm -hmm. Nap time. <laughs> Alright, so they are done with the speeches. Right now they're just taking pictures. So hopefully we can like look around inside. Yeah, it's just one person after another making a speech. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> and I don't know, we got here about 2.30 and they already started so I'm not sure how long. They were all together, but right now it's just after three. So when we took our family pictures here, we took them by this white barn. 
right here and the red barn I think it was this red one right there yeah that was quite a few years ago probably when I first started YouTube which was about four years ago so and they turned out nice and we had a picnic here because like they are closed Sunday Monday Tuesday but the grounds are still open so you can still come and like have a picnic and walk around and yeah just you know enjoy yourself because it's a nice little picnic area and they have picnic tables so yeah we also took pictures um front of the house on the steps yeah it's a nice little place yeah. to take pictures especially family pictures I I can't believe this. This is, this is also new. I think it's a free little library. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Look. Not too many books, but let's see. What are the odds? Oh my gosh, Nick is back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I wanted this one. Oh my gosh, score. Oh. There's also this area where they have like a bonfire. Remember at Christmas, they had apple cider on the fire? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll have to look back on the video. So I am trying to get like the Plus Sparks books that I don't have already. And this was on my wish list um, on Amazon, my never ending wish list. My, like everybody else, it never ends. This was on it. I'm not sure if people are going in. Do they seem to be standing around right now? Okay. Go here. Oh my gosh, that's a nice breeze. Wow. Definitely a good coffee spot. <laughs> Upstairs. 
to the hooks. <laughs> Set. That's so cute. <laughs> Hi, Casey. What do you think this is for? The pot underneath the bed. Yeah, go in the bathroom in the middle of the night. <laughs> if you had to go, that's where you went. Oh, look, they would be fake. Yeah. You could be all they fake? Yeah, they're fake. Are they fake or what are they? Not sure what kind of bird. Yeah, I'm all this one. I just look at that view. Oh. So cool. A creepy doll in there. A creepy doll? Oh no, we don't like creepy dolls. I'll see, but look at somebody has their idea. <laughs> Where's a creepy doll? Oh, in that bedroom? Okay. Let me take a look. What's in here? Oh, it looks like the storage. Okay, that was kind of spooky opening it up. Why did I do that? <laughs> I have learned nothing from the movies. I don't watch those kind of movies, but. Yeah. I know, like, that's what it kind of like looks like right because it's like spooky okay where where's the creepy doll on the bed oh that's not too too creepy right tiny tiny yeah. i've seen creepier the end what's the end there's a spinning wheel what is that for living yeah for making blankets clothes whatever your heart desires so pretty much that's it for upstairs is three bedrooms and this bedroom. So four bedrooms all together. This one's very small. What is that? A doll made out of corn husk. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very tiny bedroom. Bet you the youngest got this one. <laughs> okay, back down we go. That's it. But look at this view right I'm here. Go yeah, we'll go bathroom before we go. There is a bathroom in the red barn. So we are back at home, although I did make a pit stop because um, my mom called me and um, I picked up some goodies. Yes, um, licorice. <laughs> Casey and I already had some, so that would be for Casey, I mean Henry. Um, broccoli cheddar soup, yum. I also have lasagna and cupcakes, yes. Um, what cupcakes? <laughs> I'm going to eat them before I go inside. <laughs> yeah. Um, and a book that she got from their church. Oh, what a wonder about Jesus. And it's easy for the boys to read. So, yeah. Love that. So, yeah, that was it. That was our little Sunday afternoon adventure. And it was kind of, um, spur of a moment because I was just on social media and I found out what they were um, doing that they were holding a 50 um, 
year event and I was like okay let's go you know check it out and of course not being there for like you know three four years it's like um a lot has changed and it's farther than I thought it was yeah I know like I thought it was a lot closer I like, guess it it's it's not too far from us it's like 20 minutes away but I thought it was like a lot closer <laughs> maybe like 15 minutes um yeah and it's like oh, okay yeah because like you're like oh I thought we would be here by now and then and then and then it's like, oh, it's like just a little farther down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just nice. I was, I was on social media at the wrong time and I have a hitchhiker with me. <sighs> Who the heck invited you? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they are still around these bugs. Fish flies. Be gone. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I, I was like, okay, because we're, you know, we're not doing anything. It was a nice Sunday afternoon, and really hot in the house, though. Like, it, it was like, ooh, I was getting sweaty in the house. Um, yeah, and then I'm like, oh, that's why all the windows and the doors are open, because that fresh breeze, I was like, oh my gosh, that was so nice. Just having a fresh breeze hit you in the face, it was, oh. Yes, thank you. I'll just be standing here for a little bit till I cool down. <laughs> you know, um, I don't know how they wear the period costumes. I honestly don't know how they do it. I would be suffering. I would be like, yeah, I I wouldn't last too long. I'm like, yeah, no, I, I just wouldn't be able to do that. That's a no for me. No, <laughs> I, I would be stripping <laughs> right away. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, uh, really, really fun, and and uh, yeah, and, um, I think that one building was new because I don't think that was there, and it looks like they have like banquets and um, special events there because there was like you can tell there was food set up and tables set up, but yeah, it was just really nice and just fun to get out something something to do on a Sunday afternoon and. And uh, and the, the free little library. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a free little library. I was like so excited. It was a, it was a little bear. Um, I do plan on making a trip to um, free little libraries around here because I read three, actually no, three or is it th three or four from the ones that I got last time. So three or four, I think three, three books I read. Um, I think so, three or four. One I couldn't get into. Uh, but the other ones were pretty good, and um, there are a couple of extra ones on my list I found out about later, so we're going to check those out very soon in a future vlog. Um, but we drove by the one that's by my mom and dad's, and that one looked stacked. That one looked really full, so I was like, oh, I really want to stop, but Casey wanted to go home. But this was such a find. I'm so excited. Um, I haven't read any of his newer books, and Nicholas Sparks is like my favorite author um i love i love um nora roberts too but you have to be really really careful with nora roberts because unfortunately she has gone into witch witchcraft and i don't do witchcraft that's opening doors you do not want to open um you want to slam those doors lock them and everything you know you don't want to open those doors you want god to open your doors <laughs> you know yeah and when you start getting into that stuff, it's just, it's not good. It's just not good. And I don't, I don't like it that she's, she's gone down that road. So I avoid those books, but she does have other good books. I like, you'd have to be super careful. Um, but yeah, Nicholas Sparks, so, so happy because I want, um, to get his books. Um, uh, some, like I do have some of his older ones. I have a few, um, a couple I think I bought, and I think a few I found at Yard Sales or Value Village. So this I'm going to read. I haven't read it yet, so I'm very excited. And, um, yeah, it's going to go right on my bookshelf. So I was like, oh, yay! <laughs> yeah, meant to be. It was just there waiting for me, like, take me home. It's like, okay! <laughs> you don't have to twist my arm. Yeah, that was such a good find, because this is one of his newer ones. Um... Let me see if I can find the year. Okay, reviews. I don't. Okay, yep. I don't. I don't want the reviews. Okay. Also by Nicholas Sparks. There's quite a few I don't have, but there are a few that I do have. I don't have to get every one, but I just I, I want to you know add to my collection on my bookshelf. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, 2002. Uh, okay, wait. Oh, originally published in hardcover, um, September 2021. Um, first, first trade paperback, August 2022. So, yeah, just recently. This must have been, like, maybe his latest one. So, yes. <laughs> yes, and I also have Dear John from Good Will to Read. So, it's going to be Nicholas Sparks. <laughs> Marathon. <laughs> Alright, guys, so before this video gets too long... I'll see you next time video. Take care, be blessed, and talk to you for now. Bye!